My name is Natasha Stott Despoir. I'm Australia's ambassador for women and girls. I focus on three priority areas as part of my promotion of gender equality and gender equity in the international arena. The first is women's leadership. So the issue of women in politics is very important to me. The second is women's economic empowerment. And the third is to reduce or eliminate violence against women and girls. I believe one of the most significant areas of progress is the number of women who are interested in politics, the number of women who are putting up their hands to be candidates, who aspire to be politicians and leaders in their communities and in their parliaments. But progress, unfortunately, is very slow. Less than 5% of parliamentarians in the South Pacific are female. That's a very small figure and we've got to improve on it. But one thing we do know, when women get into positions of power, whether it's business, industry, the media or politics, we know that in politics especially, they will introduce and implement and support policies and principles that assist women and their families and their children. So we've got to make that link. We have to increase the numbers of women in parliaments, not just because it's the right thing to do, but because it has an important impact on good policy for all communities. I think there are many challenges to women's participation in politics generally and participation in Parliament in particular. Everything from how women are perceived, the way media treats women, the added scrutiny to which women are subject, but of course balancing family. This is a huge responsibility which primarily falls to women in this region and across the world. Women have to balance their family life, their community work, as well as being members uh, of a parliament and dealing with their electorates or their ministerial and portfolio responsibilities. But there are other challenges for women. Sometimes it's extremely expensive to run for office. Women don't like corruption in the main. And so when there are challenges for women when it comes to buying votes, that's a real added challenge and a disincentive to participate. We also know that behaviour in parliaments can be very off-putting for women, whether it's in my country, Australia, or more broadly. So the culture, the behaviour has to change. The method of election, even pre-selections or primary campaigns can be very difficult for women. And we also know that women are treated very differently, not just as candidates, but often when they get into a position of power as well. And we have to change that perception that politics is men's business, because it isn't. A woman's business is in politics and, as they say, in the House, whether that's the House of Representatives or any other House for that matter.